Hey everybody, it's Erin Strayer and this is another edition of the Vulnerability Series. Yeah, so again, if you guys haven't been watching and following along with this, this um, being vulnerable is super near and dear to my heart. It really, um, it affects every single part of our lives, of our business, of every relationship that we're in, and um, which is why I'm bringing it up front and on purposely full. I'm making up words today. <laughs> um, why I bring it forward and why I get to talk about it with you. And today we're going to be talking to an amazing and amazing and amazing human being. Her name is Haley Lott and she is just an absolute delight to um, be with and be around. And I'm going to talk about her for just a second. She's joined us. We're going to add her in here in just a minute. But this lady um, lights the world up. Like she connects the brightness between the stars like she just has this way of being about her that is unparalleled and so she's here so I'm going to send her an invitation and wait for you guys to interact and be with her and as you're coming on live make sure you say hi give us some hearts let us know that you're here um, and again if this as we're rolling through these interviews about vulnerability this is so important to who you are, how you show up in the world, your business, your corporation, your um, everything that you do. Um, make sure you share it with the people you care about because it's super, super important um, uh, for that. And as we're waiting for, <gasps> there she is. Hi, how are you? Can you hear Hi, me? Hi, you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? Good. I'm so excited to be here. I'm I'm like trying to make sure that this spot I have is like a good spot. I think I'm not. Oh, it's good. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, you're great. Okay. Awesome. You're great. Hi, love. How are you? Did you hear me talking about you? I did. I was like, I was so honored. What you ah! said is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So so thanks for jumping on with us today. I'm glad that you um, rearranged your schedule and of um, course. we kind of had we kind of had a couple of uh, days that we were shooting at and a couple time slots that we were playing with. And so I'm uh, really happy that you you and I were making it work. So thanks for that. Of course, so, always. Yeah, always. So I know you've kind of hopped on and watched a couple of these before. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I love this. I I mean, we've talked about vulnerability before, me and you, you know, outside of this, obviously. And yeah. when you, t I already kind of, like, I see you as someone who has so much, I mean, we all have strength and vulnerability. And I also see you as someone that has just, you know, when you've gotten vulnerable with me, I'm just like, it's, it's so powerful and so amazing. And then it was funny because I was kind of already thinking that. And then when you told me that you were going to do a show like this, I was like, this is just too perfect and I love what you're doing and it's amazing that you're getting so many different types of people to come on and uh, share, you know, because um, I think that all of our power is in vulnerability and coming together and um, yeah, so I love it. Yeah, yeah, so, so if Haley doesn't, this is Haley Lott, the Haley Lott people, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> She gets a capital T H E in front of her name <laughs> and she gets to own that. <laughs> and she's all that. And I love her. Oh. Nub, nub, nub. Hi guys, as you're coming on, make sure you say Ooh, hi. Diane. Hi and Diane. Cheers on here. Hi Trisha. Hi Olivia. Um, I think Elaine's with us. Um, but let's just kind of like go there. Um, like as you were growing up, what was your prior thought? Hi Laura of the word vulnerability like in your head like when you were right <laughs> yeah because I mean, we now have a different thought we now have a different thought on what vulnerability means but like as you were young and you were growing up um what did that word mean to you was it like a positive word I think growing up it was it was definitely not a positive word um I didn't experience a lot of vulnerability 
so my mom and my dad, of course, and I experienced not so much vulnerability with my dad. And I experienced, you know, a level of vulnerability with my mom, but at, growing up, vulnerability was just not something that you do. It was um, more seen as a weakness, you know, and yeah. sharing that part of you or sharing a, a sad part of you or sharing, um, you know, what was really going on wasn't the thing to do. What the thing to do was yeah. is stay strong, um, push through, go forward, move forward, and, and also, you know, have a big smile on your face the whole time. And um, put, put another thing of lipstick on. Say that again. Yes, yes. Put more lipstick on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And so, um, yeah, like you said, my definition of vulnerability has changed so much, and also what um, it means to me, and also the importance of it. Because um, I mean, I'm still realizing now, like how that that story that I was told when I was little that vulnerability is a weakness um, and isn't a strength it still affects my life now. Miko, come here. Sorry, my dogs, they're trying to fight. Come here, Miko. Okay, anyways, um, it's just interesting how much that story still is kind of, you know, playing out in my life today and something that helps me to recognize that that was the story of vulnerability in my past, but it doesn't have to be my story now. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And, and I'm super glad that you brought that up because um, we get to change our story, right? Yes. Yeah, and we get to we get to change how we think about that story, that one, yeah, or the other one, <laughs> or whichever one we choose, and we get to shift the perspective of the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's all with us being vulnerable. That's all with trust trust in the process. <laughs> that's all with being raw and open. Right? Mm hmm Do you agree with that? Yes, I completely agree with that. I think that um, it takes courage to be vulnerable and it takes faith and like trusting the process and knowing that, um, you know, I mean, it's really having faith and trusting that you're on the right path and that you're moving forward in a way that feels good to you. I think a vulnerability also has um, a lot to do with feeling you know, feeling yeah. what feels right for you. And, and I think vulnerability can mean so many, so many different things to different people. Um, and it, it just has a different, you know, for some people like saying that they didn't brush their teeth this morning, that's really vulnerable for them. Or, you know, it can be so much deeper than that of, you know, not experiencing vulnerability growing up or whatever it looks like for you. Hi, puppy. <laughs> um, but anyways, I really do think it's about um, getting clear on what what feels good to you, what feels good in your soul. I think that vulnerability really is connecting with yourself in order to connect deeper with other people. Yeah, I and I, <clears throat> that's huge, you know, <clears throat> made me cough right there for a second. <laughs> um, that connection with yourself, you know happens happens in your heart not in your head mm -hmm. right you know because what goes on up here in our heads are those um those stories that we tell ourselves that may or may not be true mm -hmm. right that keep us um closed off and don't allow that vulnerability to actually happen and do you agree with that like when when you actually like leave your head and drop down into your heart and you allow the realness to happen, like pe stuff explodes. <laughs> like people, people, like like the the magnet finally was turned on, right? And it's like this flood of people because poof, all of a sudden you're real. Do you agree? Yes, yes, I completely agree. I think that what sometimes stops me and, and I'm, and I'm sure that, you know, it stops other people as well is when we're in our head, it stops me from, well, oh, what, whoops. Okay. We're connected. Good. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah. but you know, it stop when I'm in my head, I, it stops me from going deep. It stops me from like letting my walls down. It stops me from, um, speaking my truth and living in my heart. So when I'm living in my head, I don't feel like I really have 
the ability to even be vulnerable because I'm so stuck in my story. It's not really like who I am. It's not really like how I feel, you know? So I totally, I totally um, love that connection because, or what you, you bring up the mind and the heart, because I really think that our vulnerability comes from our heart and um, that's where our power is. Yeah. Yeah. So hi, Jessica. Hi, Tim. Thanks for being on with us. Um, so how do you see, has there been like a pivotal thing for you lately that has really um, kind of transcribed that vulnerability, you know, living from your heart? Has there been like a pivotal thing like recently that you've seen where that shows has shown up? I mean, like our guest yesterday was talking about being at CrossFit, you know, and like overcoming going she thought about it for four years and five weeks ago she went and it's like this amazing thing you know yeah when she actually crossed the line to do that so is there like like something that's been kind of near near recent that's happened for you that's really allowed you to be vulnerable be in that space share yeah, I mean, this, it's funny because ever since we talked about, like, me coming on the show, then I think I kind of brought that into my space and kind of became more aware of what vulnerability really does look like to me, what does it feel like, and I have this experience where I had kind of my ego bruised uh, the other day, and um, someone came up to me who was a friend in my family's and was asking me about uh, my breakup and how they felt so sorry for me and all, you know, their story. And, and, you know, they wanted just to connect with me, but my ego felt bruised by that because I was like, this person, they don't, they don't know me. How do they know that all, you know, all these things that happened. And um, it was just such an interesting thing because I realized that why my ego was bruised by that situation is because I had this huge story of, you know, wanting to look good. So it was this huge ego conversation of looking good. And then I felt bruised because I had gone through this breakup and, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it was just such an interesting thing for me to realize that, like, the only way that I have my power is by being vulnerable and sharing my story and being able to connect with people from that space, you know, um, the only thing that was stopping me from sharing my story or holding on to that looking good conversation is the stories and thoughts that were in my head of needing to look good, needing to, you know, have it all together on the surface. But when I'm able to share my story and, and, um, you know, share how I feel and what's really going on, it's me, you know, rewriting the story the way I want to write it and the way, um, you know, that feels right for me. And then it also like creates this amazing space, I think, for people to come together and be like, wow, I went through that too. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing this. And now we get to connect on this and now we get to support each other on this. Because if I, <laughs> right? I mean, it was just like, it was just so yeah. funny because, you know, we've been through a lot of this like similar, you know, trainings and read the same books and all these things. And it was just such an interesting Thing to kind of happen this week to me where I felt like, wow, I'm still, you know, I do still have this ego conversation of wanting to look good and that's okay. And by realizing it and noticing that that's something that is like a thing of mine that I get to really kind of lean into the vulnerability in order to create that space of, you know, like honesty and openness and truth that I really want in my life more than anything. Yeah. 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 And like, like you start smiling when you think about it. Yeah. Like you, your face totally, totally changes. Hi ladies for jumping on with us. Um, and like, you get happy when you think about it. Right. Yeah. Like in a separate. Noodling while I was on this. <laughs> um, but um yeah we're back okay good um, good good <laughs> yeah sorry about that <laughs> um yeah so um when like your whole demographic of your face changed when you started talking about that and um that means like like you're so down in your your heart space and like your cells are going yay <laughs> 
you know, when you're actually there and, and it feels right and it doesn't, it doesn't feel forced mm -hmm. and it feels like free. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. When you're, yeah, when you're living from that space and, and yeah, not saying that those conversations aren't difficult to have and not say, you know what I mean? Like those are hard conversations to have even with yourself and identifying that your ego is right there talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, and I, I love too what you said about, you know, just being free. Let me go sit. Um, what I, I love what you said about being free because, you know, when I'm wrapped up in my stories of like wanting to look good or any of any ego conversation that I may have, um, it feels like tight and it feels like, uh, like, you know, you feel like, um, like, burdened or like wrapped in yeah. or like like just like strapped down yes exactly <laughs> by these stories and yeah when you can just be free and just say yeah this is what it is and it's okay um it just feels good yeah you know it feels like I can breathe yeah 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 and and the more you do that the easier it gets to do that too mm -hmm. I completely agree yeah yeah what time we got, honey? I know I want to really respect your time. So um, I have a favorite question I like to ask. Yes. <laughs> I ready? can't wait. Ah! So if you had one thing to say to your younger self, <laughs> what, what would it be? Wow, that's, I love that question. Um, yeah. Let's see. If I had one thing to say... Um, to my younger self, I would just say, you are perfect the way that you are. Yeah, you are perfect the way that you are. I mean, I, I could yeah, go on it. and on and write a whole novel to my younger self, but I think that it's, you know, just really, um, you know, knowing I was, knowing, knowing I'm worthy, knowing that I'm enough, and knowing that I'm perfect the way that I am, and that I'm loved. <laughs> Let that land, people. That's huge. That's huge. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It's like got rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it. And, and how powerful of an exercise would that be? Just to like every day, you are loved. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are special. Mm -hmm. You are wanted. Write it on your mirror and dry erase marker, right? Yeah. Like, put it everywhere. Like, how beautiful is that? Yeah. And I, and I love that question too, because we don't really think about that. And I think that that's kind of where, like, if we focus more on like things like that of, you know, what we wanted our child self to hear, that's where our, you know, subconscious beliefs are coming from. So when we go into that space, I think it could heal so like so much, so many wounds or whatever is going on there. And just, I mean, something as simple as just saying, I'm so loved or I'm, I'm perfect the way I am, or I'm, you know, I'm enough. It could just really change everything. So I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. I think we need to put that on cards and like plaster it everywhere. I agree. <laughs> everywhere. Haley, lots store will be open shortly <laughs> with all of her awesome little nuggets and gold, gold droppings of inspiration. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you everybody for being on with us. Haley, thank you so much for your time today, baby. I love you so much. Of I love course. your energy. I love how you connect the stars with your brightness. And um, I love that you came on and just talking unscripted, off the cuff, real and raw about this and, and joining us here today. So. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. This is really fun. And I love you a million times over and over and again. And Thank you so much for having me, but also having everyone on the show. I think it's such a powerful thing that you're doing and it's, it's a movement and I love it and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So thank you. And thank you for everyone that's watching too. Awesome. Love Thanks you. everybody. I love you too, honey. We'll see you right back here soon, everybody. Take care.